millennial is not easy these days, and it's not just about knowing the right lingo and hashtags to use, and of course, knowing your friends every single movement. They knew that this was the place to come. They have a clear cassette player for all of us millennials who want to be Gen Xers or cool millennials. People at Urban Outfitters put up a blog post, you know them, the mecca of all things cool and millennial, talking about how cassette tapes are coming back. Not just any kind of cassette tapes, we're talking about the art of a mixtape. So I decided I wanted to be a cool millennial and I, I called up my Gen X friend. To make a decent mixtape, you basically need a carload of stuff. I brought a little bit here today. Because that's where the cassette tape era came from, to find out if I can make a mixtape. I spent thousands of hours making mixtapes yeah. in, in, over, over the years. I still have a box of the ones people gave, gave to me, and they, were, they could be like a love letter, Ooh. Um, uh, just a way of exchanging music with people, you, you know, friends of yours, fellow yeah. music geeks. You'd make a mixtape for special occasions, maybe a trip, a road trip. Oh, I made a mixtape just for this trip. <laughs> Cruises! Let's go. Ah, we've got to work together. Uh, you, you decorate them, look at it. You, you would decorate the, the, the case and you oh, give it's them fancy. little titles. This one belongs to an anonymous Chasing New Staffer. I am a little camera shy. And it's called mm -hmm. Copulating Rhythm. Oh, My millennial ears there. cannot hear that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what does it take to make one of these? So much thought. Like you make a playlist now yeah. and you just kind of click and drag and move things into a folder. This is hours of work. Mm -hmm. You had that first of all, have the music. Do, do you know how to do you put the, the cassette in there? Oh, seriously? I'm not that old. <laughs> I mean, young. <laughs> I mean, oh, God. So do a CD song and then do a vinyl song, which just keeps your workflow in rhythm, right? Because ah. now the CD one is recording. Now you can do. You set that up. Set the next song up. I like That's it. You can save a little time. And you get in a little rhythm. Maybe between songs, you work on the artwork a little bit. Mm -hmm. Patsy Klein. Okay, Good. let's. Patsy. Patsy. Klein. Yay, Patsy. Now you gotta drop that needle. Drop the needle. Right Ooh. on the fourth song. Okay. And you gotta hit pause, pause. before. The... Go. Yeah? It's tricky, right? Yeah, but then how do you. Oh, no, know no, when it's it playing. Stops? But honestly, if I'm being. If I'm being truthful, I'm never gonna do this. I'm sorry. If I'm being truthful, I'll never do it again either. <laughs> and I haven't done it in a long time. Urban Huffers, what are you thinking? I don't know who actually yeah. wants to do this. 